Hi, John Montgomery here from Fiat Club America. Well, once again, you're looking at the back of a 2012 Fiat 500 Pop. This is a 58,000 mile car. And um, of course it's now, uh, well, it's probably uh, 11 years old right now, but uh, I got something that's brand new in the front of it. And that would be, it is pretty much completely done. And as you can see, we are a long, long, long way from where it was. Um, just a few months ago when it was hit by a F-150 pickup truck. A very hard hit in the front corner and uh, this car has been repaired so now it's drivable down the road. I've still got some final adjustments to do with the panels but basically it's ready to go painted and, um, and everything's good. It's got the new fender on there, the new hood and new headlights. It's got new uh, you know crash bar and all that we'll get into that in a minute but just gonna do a quick walk around of the car so you can see i've replaced the aerial believe it or not right there it's got a donor aerial on it i use a lot of donor parts to get this car fixed you know with a very very good budget and let me go through some of the uh, items tell you what let's look at the car first in the inside you can see it's been cleaned up the door opens properly right now and uh, you know it just has no problems whatsoever when uh, first got the car you could only open the door to about right here before you hit the front fender so that's been repaired with the uh, new fender and the alignment and as you can see looking inside the cabin i have repaired the armrest with some uh, special jb weld water weld glue around the uh, pad and also i've got a couple of zip ties that i tied from the top and down there's the heads of them right there um, it's kind of the cheapest way to fix it probably about five dollars to, to fix it But it beats uh, paying, you know several hundred dollars if not more to get that armrest fixed as long as your pivots good um, You can see it's really nice around the cabin. Let me come around to the other side here on the driver's side and uh, You can see where it's cleaned up real well 58,726 miles and this is just a basic pop. It's got uh, air conditioning, of course, that comes standard. Power windows come standard, and it's got an automatic transmission. No sunroof, but, you know, spiffy little car, and it's automatic. It's really good gas mileage, fun to drive, and so what's well, not to like? Uh, let's pop the hood here, and um, I'll show you kind of what got done on the inside, which is more important. I'll go ahead and pop the hood. You can see really, really nice paintwork. Appreciate my friend Alex Santiago who helped me with that and uh, maybe I'll be a painter one day I probably not this is a donor hood right here I was able to find one of these hoods for a very very good price off a parts car and I cleaned up this inner tray took this tray completely out um, cleaned up all underneath there was some leaves debris dirt whatever cleared all the drain holes and uh, also uh, found some donor pieces here and uh, glued these in because they were broken but um, anyway it now it looks like it's a uh, you know correct and you know uh, everything's good there you can see I've replaced the radiator support and also the front bumper nose of course as you know and uh, everything's cleaned up around the the cabin here I like a clean engine and I just re changed the uh, the coolant so you know it's all done on that side there's your automatic transmission. You can see that little pivot point. That's the focus of the recall right there on your uh, automatic transmission car. So you can go to uh, Fiat Club. I'm sorry. You can go to uh, uh, Mopar.com and check to see if your car falls under that recall. They'll do it for free. That pivot comes off, and that's what causes it not to be able to shift into gear. But you can see this car uh, was hit very, very hard in the front here by a pickup truck. And this is sort of the crash damage. I went ahead and... Uh, saved everything for the moment just so you can see what happened so let's start from the beginning here you can see um, where the hood was traumatized up on the top and it was also not only um, bent but also uh, kind of knocked out of position you can see the front bumper cover completely destroyed um, and uh, look at the uh, radiator support behind it uh, you can see how badly that was deflected over and the crash bar actually sits in front of that you can see how badly that was um, mangled there and that took a lot of the energy and it caused a little shifting in the um, frame rails and so you can see this is a sample of a cut off frame rail and it was bent over about 25 degrees 
and I was able to get it straightened out as you saw in a previous video. So this is just made out of some sheet metal. And so it's not too hard if you warm it up, you can, uh, with a long enough pole and a little leverage, you can, you know, at least in my case, I was able to generally get it straight, straight enough so everything would go back together. There's the um, lower support right there. You can see where my arrows are, where the deflection is. So that's another, um, you know, uh, place where it took a lot of energy and then this this little uh, support post right here actually got sheared off so there's the uh, you know the, the hood hinges you can see they got bent a little bit so they had to be replaced uh, this air intake hose that goes into the air cleaner assembly was bent over so badly that it wouldn't even allow air to get in and um, the hood latch I went ahead and replaced it you can see the um, the headlights uh, they were um, they were actually, you know, they still work. Unfortunately, the tabs are broken off. This is the adjustment tab that goes down into here. This tab is, you change this, you move that little little nut there to um, get your uh, headlight adjustment, you know, side to side. And then of course you have the one up here that gives you your up and down adjustment with a, um, I think it's a six millimeter hex key is what that uses so anyway check out the radiator then this thing was still holding coolant believe it or not look at the trauma this thing took and how it's completely deflected but um, you know I uh, replaced that but I did not replace the air conditioning condenser that actually was still holding free on so I went ahead and just continued to use it as I showed you in a previous video you can see right here this is how the um, lower radiator hose ties into the um, the butt base of the radiator and it's just like a little spring clip assembly and uh, you know the only thing that was wrong with this thing was this um, this metal pipe that feeds right here got a little bit oblong bent from the crash and that's why it was leaking a little bit so I replaced this whole assembly it's about 46 bucks you can buy it at a dealer that line runs up to the uh, coolant reservoir bottle and um, so you can see here I've you know replaced this lower uh, you know this lower beam right here it's got two um, two bolts that tie it in and four bolts that tie it into here this kind of fits right here uh, so, although you know let's see I may have it upside down there we go I think that's how it goes in yep and uh, so I had to replace that because the other one got sheared off uh, replace these top rails right here these supports and then there's your um, uh, you know your hood support right here and you can see that's where your prop rod um, is right there. So this is the bottom of the, the hood assembly. This thing just got, you know, kind of bent a little bit. So I just went ahead and got, um, you know, replacement brackets from the donor car. This is the coolant I use. And this this is um, usually what most Fiat's will take. There's the part number on the lower left. This is the concentrate. It's not only a few dollars more than the 50-50 mix. So I got that. So, um, you know, you're going to use about a half a gallon plus a half a gallon of water for a, uh, a refresh. So anyway, but you can see the headlights, they were all damaged from the wreck and so they had to be replaced and um, they're not too terribly bad price-wise. But um, I also use some um, donor parts that the car actually survived. That front grille, you can see how nice it is. That is off the original car. One of the fog light pod covers I um, actually was able to reuse that and I had another one from my parts bin so reuse that and so you know I was trying to save money on this little home project but it sure is a lot to do and it took quite a bit of time to do it um, but you know what I'm happy with it and uh, it goes down the road nice and straight and like it should this car had a new timing belt put on it uh, just prior to the accident and it also had brakes done tires put on it uh, had all kinds of stuff done to it so uh, there's no reason why this car doesn't deserve to to live and like I said in earlier videos this car probably should be in the junkyard but and you know here we are so uh, I want to encourage you if you have a little issue with your car to keep after it and you might be able to save it these are very strong little cars I mean this thing has got a um, four-star front crash rated it's got a five-star side crash rated seven airbags and you can see where the energy got dissipated but you know it it didn't affect it too badly I mean the frame rails yes they got a little bit of deflection in them but it was able to be corrected so uh, you know this little car 
uh, really sacrificed a lot on the front clip, but you know what? A lot of vehicles uh, would not survive and would be totaled. So uh, instead of a parts car, we got a good working car. So anyhow, well, if you're working on a project, I wanted to share with you uh, Fiat Club America. As you know, I've been past president for 17 years, 2001 to 2017. I'm still on the board of directors, uh, fiatclubamerica.com. This is the uh, brand new issue I just got today in the mailbox. Hadn't had a chance to read it yet, but this covers our uh, Fiat Freakout show. There's our president, I mean, not president, there's our um, uh, founder, Bob Brainer, and uh, Doug uh, Von Koning is our president right now, so he's doing a great job. But uh, there's where we're going to be next year. So uh, make a note of that date. That's June 7th to 11th, 2023, and uh, registration is, is already open. And so uh, we're going to have a big event up there. But we had a great time in Houston, Texas, uh, in the woodlands. And this is some of the winners that, uh, that came. And you can see we have a collection of both the uh, classic cars and the new cars. So uh, plus even Alfa Romeo. So we've got, we've got it going on and Lancia. So uh, really, really, really cool club. And it's the best way to save some money. Um, had some great coupes there. Uh, there was so many of them. It's just very rare to see those. And there's some great vendors, too. You know, Chris Obert, probably one of the most knowledgeable people uh, out there right now for especially the classic Fiat and uh, Lancia cars. I mean, he just, he's like an encyclopedia in sandals. So uh, check, out, <laughs> check out Chris. Good guy. Um, and, you know, there are also other vendors in here. We, uh, we really have some great people. And so love me. I'll just thumb through here but um, there's my picture right there you can see there I am part of the Fiat family uh, that was before making a trip back across the country I didn't look as good when I got home let me tell you but um, we've got some other great vendors Midwest Bayless MidwestBayless.com that's Art and Susan's company that they sold they've been in business for 50 years and um, now run by uh, Matt and Marnie Brannon and uh, Braden and uh, Bannon some great people that work there uh, there's Fun Imported and Toys, that's Danny O'Donnell, and uh, there is Fiat 500 USA, a great, great resource. Chris Vitale runs it. Uh, if you want to find out about your modern Fiat especially, he's got everything you could possibly want to know, and then some. Uh, there's Recombi Archives. If you, um, you know, sign up for Fiat Club America, you can check or research any, any issue back for the last, you know, uh, near 40 years, so uh, that's really cool and a great resource. There's Mr. Fiat. They're based in Atlanta. Uh, David and their team do a great job for us. And uh, so there's Motul. They're one of our sponsors on DI uh, Corsa, of course. And um, that they're down in Florida now. And uh, that's Mr. Bob. And so here we go. There's the chapters all over America. So I hope you'll check them out. And uh, there's the board of directors. And uh, I am still on that board. So. You can look me up. There's my um, email right there, my home email. And, um, you know, if you ever need to talk to the Prez, there you go. You get right to the top. Just hit that uh, email address right there. But anyhow, there's my card if you need to reach me. Um, you know, my day job is selling Fiat's and Alfa Romeo. We've been doing it since 2012, and we've, we've been one of the original Alfa Romeo dealers. So if you're looking for a new Julia or... Stelvio or the new Tenale. I'm going to be ordering them this week. So, hey, you know, we'll try to help you any way we can. So, that's all I got for right now. But I want to thank you for watching this video. This is video number four out of this restoration series. This little home project. Don't try this at home. You might succeed. I think we, uh, we've got some, you know, success here. And so, I want to thank you for uh, tagging along with me and, you know, it's uh, it was a big project, but I mean, I'm uh, I'm pleased with it so far. I'll get my final adjustments done, and um, you know, we'll go from there. So whatever you're working on, I hope you'll check out Fiat Club America, and please email me, John at Benson Fiat, if you have a question uh, or anything you'd like to talk about, and uh, we'll go from there. So anyhow, I hope you have a great week, and uh, you know, we'll see you next time. There's my 2012 pop right there. And I've got a classic spider right behind it. So, you know, I've got plenty of cars and they're great fun. So I encourage you to pick one up if you get a chance. 
Uh, I think you'll save a lot of money doing it. And, um, you know, if you have a little accident or something like that, well, stay at it. You can, you can do it. These cars are very forgiving and parts are relatively inexpensive. So, uh, anyhow, hope your project works out well. Have a great day. And if I can help you in any way, once again, there's my card. Take care. I'm on Eastern Time. Ciao.